I diced the meatballs into an eatable size so that more more meat can be taste in each bite. So what? I'm channel my name is Anthony and this is my very first YouTube video so my channel will consist of mostly what makes me me or like what I'm interested in what's my hobby what I'm passionate about and today since cooking is something I want to learn how to do cooking foods or whatever I will try to make beef broccoli teriyaki so without further ado let's get right into the video so to start, we have to make the delicious uh, sauce that makes it teriyaki style. So in order to do that, you have to add all of your ingredients, which is the soy sauce, the warm water, the brown sugar, the minced garlic, and right now I don't have ginger, but usually I would add it here to make it uh, spicy, a little bit spicy, but that's up to you. So that's a uh, grated ginger, optional. Sesame oil the black pepper and cornstarch. the sauce I diced the meatballs into an eatable size so that more more meat can be taste in each bite so what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna boil it for 10 minutes and while that's cooking in a medium high heat pan put a tablespoon of cooking oil and let it um, get hot and that's when we're gonna cook the vegetables so multitask that we're done with the singles, the, the vegetables, the meatballs, and the sauce, it's time to combine it. So I'm pretty sure this my meatballs is like pretty cooked right now. So the next step is to pour the sauce. When you see that it's like getting a little bit thick, that's when you lower down the heat. And then, um, when it's like the consistency that you like, it's like uh, turning to brown, more brownish color, that's when you put the vegetables that you definitely do not cook. Until you're good with the consistency and you're ready to go and put it in the plate. So this is the final result of the beef meatball broccoli teriyaki. Oh. So let's try it. Mm.
ਬੈਂਕ ਨੂੰ